Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I have an app review of Lock Me In Ignition. It's available for $29.99 in the iTunes App Store, and it's available for both the iPhone and the iPad. It's a universal app, so one purchase will work natively on either the iPhone or the iPad. Now, Lock Me In is a free and paid service which lets you remotely control several computers on your log me in account. So without further ado, let me go and open the app. Now I will be doing this demo on 3G. The log me in app works fine on Edge 3G or Wi-Fi. It will perform best on Wi-Fi, but it'll do pretty good on 3G. Um, edge, you'll probably want to turn down all of the color options and resolution so that all the images from your computer will load quickly. So once you first open the app for the first time, you'll be taken to the screen where you can enter in your Log Me In account information. So let me tap on this blue question mark, see what that does. and. This pretty much gives you a little bit of information about the app and their service, and then it also gives you the version number on the bottom. So once you enter your account information, just go ahead and tap on the green Log Me In button. And then once you're done with that, you'll be taken to the list of computers that is associated with your Log Me In account. Now I have four computers on my account, two of them are currently online. So tapping on the refresh button will take you to a screen where you, or it will just refresh the list of computers. Um, tapping on the I will allow you to delete your log me in account information because on the first screen you can set it to remember your information, and you can pretty much do the same thing with your computer's login information. And if at any time you want to remove that information from your phone or iPad, then you can do that here. Tapping on the blue right arrow will take you to a screen where it will give you the computer's IP address, when it was last turned on, and some information like that. I'm not going to go to it because some of the information in there I find personal, and I don't want to have to go and blur that out. So let me go ahead and connect to my computer. All you have to do is just tap on the name of your computer. It will then connect to it and then you'll be taken to a screen where you can enter in your computer's login information. And when you're finished with that, it will go ahead and connect to your computer. Now if I was on Wi-Fi, the connection process would be faster, but it's fine the way it is right now. So after it connects to your computer, it will you'll be taken to a hint screen where it will tell you about various finger gestures and whatnot. You could also choose whether or not you want to see the screen every time you connect to a computer. So here I am connected to my computer from my iPhone over 3G. You can use two fingers to zoom in. As you can see, I am recording the audio for this video separately from what's coming through from the camera. So you pretty much just tap to left click. And you could use two fingers to right click. Let me show you an example of the keyboard. Let me just open up Microsoft Word. And I'll go ahead and type some stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and type some stuff. I'm just looking at a, a can of air and some information on the back. So 
that was just a small example of typing on your iPhone or iPad onto your computer. Up the t at the top you'll see various control buttons such as Control, Alt, Windows, or Command if you're on OS X. Not exactly sure what menu does. Okay, so menu is pretty much your right click or your um, context menu key. And then tapping on the one furthest to the right away from the hide button, you'll get various function keys, all of the other keys that you will find on a keyboard, as well as arrow keys. So you could use this, for example, to remotely control some sort of application like Windows Media Center or Front Row or Boxy. You just use these arrow keys as well as maybe your enter keys on the normal keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings once everything. Okay. So you could obviously change the color quality. Right now it's compressed. If I bring it down to low quality, everything will probably load considerably faster. Now you can also change the resolution of the actual screen that you're looking at. Um, this monitor has a maximum resolution of 1280 by 1024, but I could change that to any of these. If you have multiple monitors connected to your computer, you could view the other monitors as well. You could view the other one, or the other ones that you have connected, or you could view them all at once. Network speed, it's best to leave that on auto, so I'm not going to go through it. Okay, so right now we are at the low quality setting, and you can see that things are loading quite a bit faster than they have before, or than they did before. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much wrap up this video by showing you what this looks like on your computer, like the actual um, mouse movements and whatnot. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Right now that you, you can see that I am moving my mouse around with my iPhone and I can actually see what's on the screen. And just like that, you're pretty much controlling your computer as if you were actually sitting there. You could be all the way across the world, and you could still be able to control your computer with your iPhone. So that was just a quick look at LogMeIn Ignition for the iPhone and iPad. Again, it's $29.99 in the App Store, which is could be considered a lot to some people, but if you really need to use remotely connect to your computers, this is probably the best way to go because won't, well it's, it's just a better solution than maybe VNC or RDP because you won't have to mess with any port forwarding, you won't have to do any network setup or anything like that. This is, all you have to do is install the client, or not the client, the um, server program onto your computer for Windows or Mac and that's it, you don't have to do anything else. So I'll put the link to the app in the iTunes App Store in the description. So thanks a lot for watching this and we'll see you soon.